this is the Remington 870. My, uh, basically my special build I did. I, uh, had to cut the barrel down and I've modified the pistol grip. You can see in my other video how I made the pistol grip up. Basically, um, how to cut down a shotgun without cutting anything. So that was the, the first video because I had a, uh, a 14 and a half inch barrel on it which borderline made it sort of illegal because uh, its overall length was not 32 inches. The RCMP changed the laws. There used to be a law that if the scatter gun was built that way we didn't, uh, there was really no overall length issues um, depending, well there were some laws about it still so don't take my word exactly how it was but basically you were allowed to have a short shotgun at um, uh, about, well, about a year ago and then I went back to prove to a friend that it was the case and went back to the, the website and they had changed all the wording on it. And now it's, it's, it's illegal. So um, this gun is fully legal uh, because it is exactly 32 inches long. As you can see, I've got from mer the muzzle to this hump right here or the back of the handle. You're looking at 32 and a half to the back of the handle or exactly 32 inches to this nub and that was how I designed it. My barrel is still over 18 inches so you can't tell me I cut the barrel off too short. I've got 21 inches to the edge right here. So if you're going to measure to the back of it it's 24 and a half. So there you go. Um, Usually the, the barrel is measured to the front of the breech before the, uh, the round actually goes in. So uh, there's, there's still some room to play. So uh, what I've done is I took a hacksaw and I cut the rib between the two to make myself some clear space. And instead of taking a hacksaw like most amateurs do to cut your, your barrel off, I used pipe cutters. Why? Because you get a perfect uh, cut with pipe cutters. You still get that inside bead, or sorry, you still have that inside burr that you have to take out, or you're technically got a full choke to some degree, which probably won't be very accurate anyway because of the way the burr usually is. So um, you still have to take that burr out. So there's still a lot of filing down still, even though um, we, we cut it off with pipe cutters. I deliberately wanted a little bit of a muzzle here uh, off my sight. I could have cut it with a hacksaw or a chop saw and got it straight down right at the edge here made it look pretty cool too. But I wanted a little bit of a muzzle there. I thought it would look kind of better. So I filed the little, this sharp corner off just to make it look a little more pro. And I put some epoxy goop on it so you didn't see all the silver. And as it dries, I'll, I'll take a file and file down the epoxy to, to get rid of some of that globby. But I had to drill in here to accommodate my new sight. So I took the old sight out uh, by just threading it out uh, with a pair of vice grips and I drilled a new hole. I was going to tap it, however I couldn't match the thread, it was too small. So I just drilled a slight oversize and filled it up with epoxy and pushed my bead in and that's how it's going to hold in play. Um, if I ever want to get it out, I'm either going to have to break it out by twisting it or hopefully just breaking it out. So, um, but. I don't really intend to put in a different bead on it. I really like the double bead I got. I could have moved this back a bit to make it the way it was, but I'm gonna try it just up here. And if I need to move this back, I can always move it back later. This is this little teeny bead. So it's a three inch Magnum 870 Express uh, with the ATI um, tactical uh, stock, they call it. Um, does come with uh, this extra guard that I can always throw on it that folds up. The only thing is, is I have to take off the side saddle if I want to use this because it interferes, and I have to cut a square notch to fit it, which I think will take away some of the integrity. It has a um, shot shell holder here that I could get the right one, and then take this off altogether, put a new shot shoulder, paint this so it matches, and then I've got my fully fully upgrade, but um, till then, I'm pretty happy with the way it is. I like the pistol grip. I've got enough long skirted shotguns that to have a pistol grip wouldn't hurt. So I've got that. Um, 
this shotgun should be pretty easy to shoot despite I've shot the 14 inch and a half inch barrel it gives a little bit of kick of course but still I can handle that so with a longer barrel it's going to give a little bit less kick so I'll definitely be able to handle it um, basically the purpose of this shotgun is one for looks I just thought it looked really cool to have a pistol grip shotgun um, kind of like that Terminator look I guess uh, the other thing is also uh, just for the side defense, like whether it be bear defense or predator defense or home defense, just just to have a, a, a defensive shotgun. I thought, why not? And um, I've always wanted to sort of sort of build one up on this style, and I decided just to go for it. So I did. So uh, yeah, that's the. Um, the 870, I've got the 8-shot extender, or sorry, the um, it makes it a full 8 shots total, so it holds 4 extra from holding 4, so 4 and 4 equals 8. Um, actually, sorry, I believe it's 7, 1 in the chamber, I think it's actually a 3-shot tube, and this is 4, so 4 plus 3, so it's 8 with 1 in the chamber, not like the special purpose uh, from Mossberg, it's a... Uh, 590 it holds uh, nine that's four uh, sorry eight eight in the chamber and sorry eight in the tube one in the chamber so um, it's got one less than my my shot my uh, Mossberg but it's a lot smaller shotgun so I mean I could always put a uh, here I'll just bring it for the fuck of it I've got this I've got a bayonet on this it makes it a little bit different so uh, and also, I could always put a, this pistol grip onto this gun. The back ends of these are the same, so I could always put a pistol grip onto the special purpose. And if I did that, uh, they'd be almost the same length. Um, I put a heat shield on the special purpose, and I do plan on putting a heat shield on this, but because I got this rib here, not a smooth bore barrel, uh, the top of it, it's quite hard to find a sheet, heat shield that fits. So if I really want one, I might have to manufacture one out of sheet metal, which might be a project to do later on down the road. If I was going to do that, I'd just go ahead and tack it out, um, or paint it, paint it the same, so it's it's just uh, as is. But anyways, um, just thought I'd show the uh, the defensive pistol grip shotgun that I've been working on. It's sort of a three-day project. I've also added a 15-shot um, shell sling, and of course it's got the uh, six-shot side saddle, just for all your extra ammo. So it's pretty much one grab go. Uh, it's part of your three Gs as grab gun go. Uh, this is one of my setups for that. So there you go. And when the sight is fully um, actually dried, fully this will fit into here so the scabber and it'll be like that so it's gonna fit in, in the scabber just fine as well so that's uh yeah it's just one of my defensive shotguns and almost the finished product to where it's done uh, it's a little bit heavy with all the gear on it um, but I mean no no heavier than any other tacked out shotgun would be in fact, it might be a little bit lighter. It's definitely lighter than the 870. Um, sorry, not the 870, the 590 from Mossberg. This is, um, in my opinion, the 870 is by far a superior firearm than Mossberg makes. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to go wrong. I've got an 870 clone from Norenko. I'm having issues with it. The 870 has been shooting strong, working not a, not one issue. I don't think I've ever had an issue with my 870 other than the, the odd wardrobe malfunction, but that's all it is. It's just uh, wardrobe malfunction. Nothing to do with the actual gun. So there you go. Um, yeah, that's really all I've got to say. I'll just give a quick little zoom in so you can see some of the features here. For some reason this camera zoom is just not very cooperative, but I don't know how to work this camera. 
so anyways, uh, that's really all I've got. Um, I don't know, I could have showed how to make it, but I don't really think that was necessary. Uh, like I said, I just described how I did it. Pipe cutters, guys, that's the trick. Um, if you don't know what pipe cutters are, just a pair of these. Great tool. Um, you just basically place the pipe inside it and the blade sits down where you want to cut and you just spin it around to make a score and as you can see you've got the score now and what you would do is you would just keep tightening this handle as you spin it so you do a teeny little quarter give it a couple turns around the pipe tighten it down again and do the same around the pipe until finally the pipe Cut, is cut and then you have to get that burr out. Um, as you can see right there there's a real nasty burr. This is not burred, uh, this piece. That's where I cut it. So it really curves inwards and creates a sharp edge on the inside of here. You really got to get that out or you're going to have problems when you're shooting. Um, you could possibly crack your barrel as well but I think most likely it's going to affect your shooting more than anything. So you can see with this one I've taken the burr right out so it's nice and smooth. When I run my finger in here and slide it, shouldn't cut it. If you run your finger on the inside here and spin it and then you feel a cut, you've got yourself too much burr. You should be able to run your finger all the way around in here and not feel any sharp edge. It should feel kind of smooth. So um, that's when you know you've got your burr out. And the best way to get your burr out is with a file. You just keep filing the top end and then you take a very fine file and you work the inside of it but you don't want to score the inside either you want to make it just go very light go very very slow and um, you'll probably do it right so uh, yeah um, a little bit of work I showed a video on how to put this extender on the the magazine extension there's a bit of grinding involved with that that's that was another video so yeah there's my uh, fully um, I guess my defensive 870